can also introspect, right? So I had you look at those phases before just to kind of think about how stuff is working. As I mentioned, sometimes you can get important insights about how perception and cognition work by watching yourself. Like open up your radar during this course and just watch yourself as you go around in the world and think about things. There are all kinds of clues that flash through your head all the time. Write them down and think about what they're telling you, okay? Um, let me give you a couple of really low tech ones. Um, um, we can ask, for example, what kinds of things are hard? So how many people have noticed that when a friend changes their hair, you detect that something's different, but it often takes a while to figure what? How many, raise your hand if you've had that experience. Yeah, not, not every, everyone will have. Okay, I'll tell you one ludicrous example. Uh, my partner makes documentaries and years ago he was um, on a ship uh, off the Azores in the Eastern Atlantic filming sperm whales and he was gone for about four weeks and when he came back I picked him up at Logan and I saw him way down on the sidewalk I was parked over I saw him way down there and he's walking towards me and um, and I said wow you look so different with a dark tan well he had a huge beard and a mustache and actually they there had been a you know there had been a a competition on the boat. There had been some drunken gambling, which resulted in him having his beard and mustache forcibly shaved off him. He looked totally different. And I, who had lived with him for decades at that point, thought it was a dark tan. I mean, I, I got it eventually. But the point is, you get a different signal, you don't get an analysis. And so if what we had in our head was some kind of representation of this part, that part, and the other part, you might think that it'd be easier to analyze what that different signal was all about. That's just an example of something you experience that might or might not be informative. Yeah? Okay. Um, here's another one. How many of you have noticed that if you're in a situation where there's a bunch of mirrors, for example, in a um, clothing store that wants to show you all your angles of your fabulous self, and you see yourself in profile, and you think, wow, is that what I look like in profile? How many people have been surprised by the appearance of their profile? A few? Okay, yeah. Um, well, what is that telling you? That's telling you, you have lots of experience looking at yourself front on. Even if you're not incredibly vain, it's hard to avoid running into mirrors and seeing yourself in photographs and, and mirrors. You rarely see yourself from the side. If what you were extracting about the face was some very invariant abstract description of the structure of the face, you should be able to see that just as well from the side as the front. So that suggests some lack of invariance in your face representation. Okay, again, just from introspection. Okay, all right. Um, all right. Okay, of course, introspection isn't enough. It's just a source of ideas. Once you get ideas, you gotta get serious and run experiments. 